David Blacksmith, Jewit Stal, a Joanna Diganuit, and Doquishuna Nuit, Gania Nanako, Yui Doen, in the Yuish Jeet. I got gouts to be it, in Yayo Athot, Yi Doen, Ashkajibajana Bashield, in the Manitoba. In my family, there was lots of medicine people in my family. I, I know. Everything there is to know about my mom's side of the family, my dad's side of the family, because I had my grandparents to tell me who was who and who did what. My grandfather was a medicine man. My grandmother was a medicine man. And I'm nowhere near their, uh, their power, or whatever you want to call it. But for me, I, I started to train when I was eight, eight years old. And uh, in the beginning, the old man used to get me his medicines that he needed to administer to people. And same thing with the old, that's how I learned how to pick medicine and, and stuff like that. Mah zahtid inji guddigit niyana nao ahta binoshid joashid. David iniayo zagoyo gai daihtim higud nasta mos jipim biyo. Jin hibi yo mag zaji mochi ko deniya yo. Wes zaji tai drum shum zaji de ba drum stai. One time I, I wanted to uh, uh, hear the old man, my grandfather, tell stories um, about long time ago, how people used to do things, and it, it really fascinated me. And the power that they used to have, the, the power in a shake tent, the power in a the sun dance and the goose dance and all that stuff. David, Jiwaptia, Imza Doayo, Abako Dashumana Nuit, Amidot Sinanuit, Giamak Akshaptig Nuit. In the Makshaptig and Gas Stomans in Tayaitigat, Dabamza Doan Jitotum, David Magui Shopsko. In the Ayo Magatot, in the White Dakshu, the Jimagopshot, Nasty Saga Zahatit, Miskuz Magzaji Duxnit, Miss Dabba. of the, some of the stories the old man talked about. Um, it was very uh, fascinating to me, the, pe the way the people lived, the way they, you know, they didn't have certain sicknesses, see? And so when people used to come and see the old man, or the old lady, um, I would be there, and I was a little guy back then. And um, I have to go and get the medicines or I went with the old man to go get the medicines. My training uh, began when I was about eight years old or so. I used to see alcohol and people fighting and you know people getting killed and what have you. Eh? And uh, you know I thought to myself that someday I have to do something about this but right now I'm just a kid. So that we can help ourselves defeat alcoholism Drug abuse, all that stuff. In the David, and I finally convinced the old man I, I, I want to do that. My grandfather. And then I, I bothered him, I bugged him for a few years. And he finally said, okay, we'll, we'll go get it. And I didn't know where to go get it, but he got me ready. So 
so away we went to this island. Um, I still go to that island whenever I have a chance. But on this island, he, he made me a nest with the spruce boughs. And then he told me, don't leave this nest. You stay here until I come and get you. And your power will come to you. And that's, I was eight. I stayed there and uh, it was getting night. I was getting kind of, you know, spooked out. I thought you know, this old man should be here right away. My, grand my grandfather should be coming soon, eh? And I stayed up all night. And then the next day, nothing. And then I was getting really, really tired. Eh? And then uh, I was smoking my pipe and uh, he, he showed me how to, how to pray, you know. You know, Indian way, I guess. I got to my dad to be it's David. So I didn't get to go in. So I fell asleep, and they come to get me. The spirits come to get me, and then I traveled all over the place underwater. I traveled in the in the sky. I traveled and uh, I seen cities, countries, I seen people, I seen uh, beings that I, you know, to this day I, I don't know who they are. And uh, apparently, according to my grandfather, I was there for two weeks with no food, no water. That's when I started to, uh, one, of, one of the visions I had very clearly, um, was uh, there was this guy that came with a big boat, big long boat, it was about 60 feet long, and it was about 20 feet wide, and he was alone. He was at the front of the boat, and he had a hood, he had a, a cane, and he was tall, but he talked to me in my mind, eh? he didn't speak, and he, he told me to come, so I went, this is in a dream, eh? And, uh, and I, I, I kept thinking, where are we going? I'm gonna take you to your life, he said. I wanna go show you your life. Eh? So we came to this, uh, another island. It was made out of rocks, all kinds of colors, red, blue, green, all kinds, beautiful colors, and he, we went there, and he says, Macha, go. So I went, I was kind of scared of him. Eh? So I went, I didn't know where I was going, till I saw these two white horses, big giant horses. They had fur on their legs. And the, one of the horses had a rope around his neck, and then uh, he was stuck. She was stuck, it was a female horse. And then this rope was led into a, a little river or lake inside the island, in the middle of the island. So we started pulling that rope, me and the other horse, like she would go, pike, whatever. And then it got really heavy and it was a great big box, uh, like a treasure almost. And I pulled it out and uh, they were all interested, these horses. These two horses, they were interested in, uh, so they started kicking the, there was a latch there at the ends. So I figured they wanted to open it. Eh? So I opened it. And I, I saw things there that uh, I didn't understand what they were. Um, I saw five children and I saw one boy. I saw blanket, a yellow blanket. I saw ceremonial artifacts. I saw pain and joy and all that stuff. 